This is not a kid's movie in any way, shape, or form. This is an adult Batman movie. At any point, was Warner Brothers like, you know, nervous about the subject matter? And you know what I mean? You know, what's so interesting is that they, and it's, to me, that's like the experience on the film. They have been so incredibly supportive and they loved from the inception, you know, the pitch, once I wanted to put it into this world and that I wanted to do a kind of sort of detective story, noir, and that whole thing, they were very responsive. They were very excited about that. I think they knew that, you know, I said from the beginning to do a standalone Batman film, you really have to, there's a, there's a long line of great movies. And so the idea that you can come and just do another Batman film, it has to be a great Batman film. You have to set out to do something that feels distinctive and different and definitive. And so they embraced it the whole time. There was never a moment where they said to me, are you sure? Let's not, they, they really leaned into everything. And I've had the support to do exactly, I mean, I have to say this movie is exactly the movie I wanted it to be. And they have supported me all the way through it. So no, there was never really that moment. They, one thing they, they did do, which was my intention from the beginning, was they said, look, it's important to us that the movie be PG-13. We want to make sure that we can get this, it's a Batman movie and we're investing so much in it. And I was like, well, you know, I, in the Apes movies, I tried to sort of find that balance as well. They were meant to be sort of, you know, they were obviously spectacle and grand entertainment, but there was a level of intensity. And I felt like in that same way, I knew that we could push the boundaries of what you could do in a PG-13 movie and still deliver everything I wanted to do. Um, you, I know you test screened the movie, you know, every movie gets test screened. Yes, what did you learn times. from those? Yeah, exactly. So what did you learn from those early screenings? And did you actually make changes to the movie as a result of those? Well, you always make subtle changes to make sure that things that are not clear are, are clear, or if there's sections that don't feel like they're moving in the right way. To me, honestly, the first version of this movie that I screened, the movie is a very ambitious, complex narrative. And so by the time we got to a place where we had to start testing, I was not all the way through the cut of the movie. I had, you know, there, there was so much of the movie yet to be touched and it was really long. I mean, not to say that the movie doesn't have length now, but it was longer than what I intended. And so I was terrified because I thought, oh my gosh, we're showing this before I'm ready to an audience. And in terms of a Batman movie, it's a very complex detective story narrative. Are they gonna be able to follow anything? And what I found actually, which was amazing, was how much they loved that aspect. That was the biggest relief. I was thinking, okay, why did I do this? Why did I decide to, to make this kind of story? And what the first test screening told me was the audience wanted this, that you know we had the Batmobile chases, we had all the things, you, you can't make a Batman movie without giving the baseline things that people want from a Batman movie. But I knew we were challenging the audience in this side of world's greatest detective side because it was gonna be a very complex narrative. And it turned out they loved that part of it. It was one of the things that tested best. So. That part was a great thing to learn, which was that actually the audience would be excited about this version of the movie. And that only continued to get better as we continued to test. And then I, I finally just made my way bit by bit through the cut. And you make tiny adjustments to make sure that little things that maybe are not clear enough are clearer. But it uh, the testing process kind of validated that this was a direction that an audience would be excited about. For me, what was thrilling was they didn't know what they were seeing. So they would come to a screening and then suddenly they realized they, they were seeing a Batman movie and there was it showed how much love there is for Batman, which was so exciting for me because of course I've loved this since I was a kid. And to be in an audience and have that big screen experience after we're all been away from it for so long and to see people cheer and to see people get excited and then to see them get wrapped up. I mean, there'd be moments where there was just utter silence and you were like, okay, people, are, people love Batman and they're into this and that was exciting. That to me was the best part of the testing. Uh, I know you had a longer cut. Um, is there a chance, even though this is a long movie, is there a chance that fans will ever see like an extended version or a lot of deleted scenes? You know, this is the cut. That The amazing thing about this process, and I have to say, like when you asked me at the beginning about Warner Brothers and was there pushback, this is the version of the film that I wanted to make. And the amazing thing is I got to make it, which is a great, I mean, look, I always enter everything by saying like, look, you might not want my version of this and that's it's yours right this is your franchise so i'm a custodian for a period of time if you choose me but if you choose me then choose me because you want to do what i want to do and if you don't like what i want to do that's totally fine just don't hire me and you know i've been really lucky that with the apes films those are the movies i wanted to make it's not like there's some other cut somewhere this particular experience at warner brothers was just the same this is the version and you know what 
it's, look, it's a big, expansive, crazy detective movie. It is all these other things that a Batman movie should be. And they let me make it, and there is not another cut.